page. You know what did me? I thought, hey, I just wanted to see a blog module. That's all this other stuff. At first, I thought I did something wrong, and so I started really looking at it. Um, the blog module actually is uh, a series of other modules that are work in concert with it to help you uh, effectively use your blog, all right, manage it. Um, now, this first section that puts up here, this is your view blog section, all right? That's where you actually view your blog entries or entry, okay? So when the page is loaded and maybe you have clicked on a blog title, your blog entry loads in that particular module. And when you haven't selected one, you just come on the blog page just from a regular page link, then that's where all your entries will show, okay? Uh, blog list, that's one that's going to list all the blogs that you have in the portal, okay? Uh, the way it works is, you know, that's, you know, User A goes in there and creates a blog, it's going to show up in that list. User B goes in there and creates a blog, goes, goes shows in that list and, button and so on. All right. uh, this one right here where it says new blog, that's actually kind of an administration module. And uh, you're going to see here in just a second, you want to hide that. All right. You only want to show that to roles that you actually want to be able to create a blog, <laughs> not to everybody. Uh, next, we got self explanatory, you can search your blog, and the blog archive that shows you blogs per day, blogs per month, and so on. So a typical blog stack for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this administration module over to the left, left pane over here. That's going to put it over there in your left column. Uh, what else am I going to put over there? And the blog list. I'm going to put that over there. You can obviously situate this any way you want. Okay. I'm going to put the blog search over on the right. And I'm going to put the blog archive over to the right. Okay, so this view blog area, like I said, this could be all your blogs, all listed out in a row, uh, big column. That could obviously fill up a whole bunch of space, so we really want that to take up the bulk of our space, especially since it's probably going to have images and text and all that fun stuff. All right, now, the first thing you want to do when you create this blog, depend, well, there's a few different, there's many different ways you can use this module. If you're just using this for yourself, the first thing you want to do is just show this blog just to administrators or a role that you create to do blogs. If you're doing this for multiple people to be able to blog on your site, I suggest creating a, a security role for blogging. We're going to do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead into our admin menu and create a security role. And everything we're doing right here only needs to be done once, so don't get scared. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create a role. <coughs> and we're going to call this uh, bloggers. Okay. And we don't need to do anything special to it. It's just a regular role, so I'm just going to click update. Well, depending on your business case, but typically we don't. All right. Now, uh, we probably want to add somebody to that, so I'm going to go ahead and add a user real quick, because I don't want to do this as an admin, necessarily. Uh, no, no, we're not going to call it the same thing. So John Doe is able to, uh, is going to have a user account, and he's going to be our blogger. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add him to that role we just created. All right, so now when we go to our blog module, if we go into the settings for that. So hello, okay, that's <laughs> All right, uh, we go to the settings for that now. Uh, I want to hide this from anybody that's not supposed to be blogging. So I'm going to uncheck the checkbox. Make sure that view or view and edit module. All right. Edit module. If you don't check edit module, they won't be able to create their blog. Don't okay. you want all users to be able to view it? No. A different part no. Of it. Oh. Sorry. You don't want them to be able to see it because they're going to see that create my blog link. Or, or actually, no, they won't. If they don't have edit permissions, they're going to see you must have edit permissions to be able to create a blog. I'll so they're going to see an error message. I was thinking of my. Yeah. So you only want your blogger role or administrators, depending on how you're using this, to be able to see and edit this module. If you give them view permissions, they're going to see that message we just uh, I just mentioned. If you give them edit module uh, uh, permissions, you're going to see what you're about to see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click update. All right. I'm going to go ahead and log back in as that person. So at this point, if you're an administrator of site, you say, hey, I set up your blog module, you're all ready to go. Just go ahead and click, click that create blog link and run with it. Okay? If they can figure out a web form. Smart, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so I've logged in as John Doe. I don't have any of the admin or uh, host stuff. Now I can create my blog. Now before I do that, though, are there any questions on these different sections we have here? No? Would they be able, if they can create a blog, would they be able to edit that module and change the settings and everything? Mm. That's a great question. No. Uh, when they come in here, uh, there's actually no settings for them to edit. All right, this, is, this uh, model does one very, one, one very specific thing, and that's it. It basically gets you to the uh, to the blog settings wizard, okay? Uh, which, depending on if you have a created blog, it might be pre-filled. If you're creating a new blog, like right now, nothing's in there. That's all it does. Okay, so there's really no risk here of them doing anything nefarious. All right. So we're going to have a blog title here. So let's say uh, my DNN place. That's my new blog. Um, and then we give a description. We can put anything in here. It doesn't really matter, but well, it does matter because this description will show up when they click on your blog name. So if you want, if you're trying to do this for SEO purposes, you do want to load that up with some SEO keywords, but in a descriptive manner. Okay. So you, you know, if you're talking about DNA, you want to use words like you know, development, modules, skinny, you know, things like that. Uh, but so, but be an actual description. All right. You want to make this blog public. I, I don't know of any use cases off the top of my head where you wouldn't want to do that. All right. So you, you always want to do that. What happens if well, it's not public? What's that? If it's, it's not like public, it's like an system. editing state. What? It's kind of like an editing state. Yeah, kind of, but it's. it's I haven't found it useful. Block. Have you found it useful? No. It doesn't show yeah. up to anybody else. Yeah, it doesn't public. show up to anybody. It, okay. Just yourself. Like I said, I haven't thought of a use case for it. And when I say use case, something useful. <laughs> it but, might but it need to there. remove the blog in case a person leaves or something. Yeah, but you can do that through this page settings or the module settings. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that may just be a one-click area to do that. So, uh, uh, like I said, I haven't come up with a use case. Uh, most of these settings are very self-explanatory. Uh, I'm going to go over the ones that kind of aren't. Uh, if you see some of these checkboxes that are you can't check, you know, if you want users to post your comments, post comments, uh, usually yes. All right. Do you want people? <coughs> Always yes. And I don't care if you have the most popular blog in the world. You always want to approve your comments. Anybody tell me why? Spam. People use spam. Language. Spam. And the spam has gotten so good these days. Man. I'm, uh, they're, even, uh, they're either manually putting it in now or they found a way to run a captcha. Because I found some stuff where, uh, uh, recently where they're posting comments to my blog saying uh, it's, it's, it's obviously templated. Uh, it says something like, wow, I didn't know. And then my page name. Right from the title bar, and then that's great, and then they put a link to their site in there, right? <laughs> and and uh, they're actually putting some stuff in there. So you have to, when you're approving your comments, look at the website that's they're linking to when they have it on uh, their website listed there, because uh, uh, who knows what it is. All right. All right. So uh, do you want to allow anonymous users to post comments? That's up to you, but always approve. Uh, do you want a lot of track back? You know, unless you have a reason not to. Yeah, why not? Because it's going to give you a, a bigger footprint than SEO. Uh, send mail notification. That's only if you want to. Uh, you should. Why not? No. Right. Uh, use captcha. I know that annoys your users. So unless your user base is like uh, you know a non-savvy <coughs> user base, I would suggest using it. Right. That's going to weed out a lot more spam comments. All right. Uh, Trackback auto discovery. That's going to have a question about. Yes, sir. Did it captcha? Uh -huh. That happens to be one technology. I really, really hate that a lot. Very annoying. Well, if there's no other way to do that same function or what the captcha stuff out. To use yeah. a different caption? Yeah, I mean yeah, whoever the person was that came up with that, I thought, man, that's that's such a horrible technology in my opinion. Oh, you're talking about something other than caption. Just in general. Yeah, yeah something that, that can general. actually do the job. Something I, I saw that I liked, and I, I've seen this mostly on Google and Google-related sites, uh, is uh, the, the new form of capture I've been seeing come along is asking logical questions, right? Something that, uh, uh, you know, uh, it would be really difficult to uh, have write a program to come up with. So instead of writing these images or creating all these, you know, different images that usually can't even tell what the freaking letter is. Asking logical questions like, yeah, uh, Use, using a different uh, 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 yeah. mix of words and, and letters or words and numbers, uh, saying stuff like you know what is the the sum of five plus ten, you know stuff like that. And I started to see that, and I kind of like that. Uh, aside from that, I don't know what the, the next form of annoyance is. 
I'm saying it'll be like four pictures, and then it'll be like a tree and something, and then like a cat, and like click on the live animal. That's kind of.